Hi, my name is Carmen Suarez. I met Teresa Caputo at a group reading that I was invited to. Nice Hi. to meet you, I'm Good Teresa. Morning. I was elated, I was so excited. One way that I like Spirit to validate their presence is through just acknowledging things that happened years ago. Now, whose husband passed? We all looked at each other because the truth was, besides one person there, everyone else in that room had lost their husbands. I never had done a group reading before where every person in the group had lost their husband. Now, did somebody pass in 9-11? My husband, Ramon, he was an amazing man. Wonderful father, husband, friend, colleague. Me and Jillian used to call him Sylvester Stallone because he was always anywhere where there was action. He adored his family, adored his little girl here. That was always the apple of his eye. Me and him were definitely like two peas in a pot. Like that was my other half. We'll have movie days where we all like put a blanket on the floor and just lay down, eat junk food and watch movies like all day long. It was probably like the best memory I had. He loved his job. So knowing that he went into those towers and lost his life there, I know that there won't have been no other way he would have wanted to die if it was going in there and making a difference in other people's lives. I feel like I'm carrying somebody out. He was caught on camera bringing up people. They found him with another person that he was taking in. Oh my God, that's, that's it. I just got goosebumps. He left his post to go to the Twin Towers. And I had no clue what was going on. And I got to work and when I got to work, I noticed people were looking up in the sky and I was wondering why. I saw when the towers fell and then I was telling my co-workers, oh my God, I'm not gonna see my husband today. He's gonna be doing a lot of overtime because I know he's there. There were people that had told him, you gotta get out the building, the towers are gonna fall. And he said, those towers are not gonna fall. I gotta go, I gotta help people. I picked up my daughter at school and then when I got home, that's when I received the phone call. They told me, Carmen, he's missing. And I'm like, what do you mean he's missing? The following day, there was things on the news like shots from the, I guess, from the newspapers. He saved a woman named Crystal Tyson, and um, I think it was in the Post and in the Daily News, and those pictures started to come out. So then how do we connect with the number three? He took out three people out of that building. There we go. Three, because there's I, the three people. I have pictures of. Perfect. That he saved. saved. He saved them. Have they contacted you? I met two, and the third was pregnant at the time. When I was meeting Crystal Tyson, she wrote on the back of a picture saying, your dad was an angel and you should be proud of him. That's just how it is. It was very overwhelming. Because to me, I felt she was the last person that hugged him. She got that hug that I wanted. But then I saw her little girl and then I, I said, you know what? That little girl's gonna have a mom. And she was so little. And to me, he didn't die in vain. His whole message was that he was proud dying a hero and that he wouldn't have changed anything. And even though now she had to grow up without her father. He was not here in the physical world for her. He had proven that he still watches over her and is still a part of her life. I've always wanted to be daddy's little girl. So when he passed away, I promised myself, I'm gonna be in the criminal justice system. This is what I wanna do with life. And I'm gonna follow his footsteps. So I'm very excited. It's been pretty much my dream. No matter where you go in your life, your husband is with you every step of the way. Teresa gave me the message that he wanted me to know that he did exactly what he loved to do and that he is always with us. I know right now as I'm talking to you guys that he's behind me. He's always with me. I was so jealous that she got that reading. At the same time, I see my mom how hurt she is. So I knew 
when she got that reading, she was gonna get her closure. And that's all that makes me happy. Because my mom needed it more than I did. Even though you lost your husband, he made me feel like you're so proud. I feel like the woman named the child after your husband. Yes, she did. There was a child born from this tragedy, and that woman was able to save her baby because my husband came into her life at that moment and helped her get out that burning building. It's like they say, you know, you give a life, you earn your wings in God's heaven. And that's exactly what he, he earned, his wings in God's heaven.